What's up guys, I'm CJ and I am back for another video, and today I will be sharing with you my Essence collection. So, I did all of these collection videos, and I was like, yay, I'm done, this is my last video. And then you were like, uh, no you're not, you didn't show us your Essence collection. So that's what this video is all about, all of the essences I either have, am using, am not using, and some of these I have just totally forgot about in my collection. So it's good that I pulled them off the shelf, because now I can start using them again. So, let's just get going into this. The very first one I'm going to show you is going to be my all-time favorite first treatment essence that I have used, and I compare every first treatment essence against, and this is the big Mac Daddy version of the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. This one is 11 ounces, and it comes with a little pump. If that doesn't tell you what my favorite first treatment essence is, I don't know what does. Of course, I will be doing a dedicated first treatment essence breakdown, comparison, whatever video soon. I have two more essences to fully work through, or one and a half, and then I'm going to start getting into it because I think that's going to be a really good video. So the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence, 11 ounce Mac Daddy version, that is my third SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. Started with the baby size, the 2 ounce one, went up to the 9 ounce one, and now I have the 11 ounce one, so... We're pretty dedicated. The next one is a hydrating essence. So this has been seen many times before in my videos. This is the Hadalabo Gokujin Premium Lotion. So of course there's the regular Hadalabo Gokujin Lotion, which has, I believe, three types of hyaluronic acid in it, or three weights. And this one is the premium version, and it has five weights of hyaluronic acid. I would say the difference between the two is the Regular Gokujin lotion feels a little more wet, and it's a little thinner. The premium version is a little thicker, of course, because it has more forms of hyaluronic acid, so it's a little more viscous, and it feels a little more dry. It's not drying, it just feels a little more dry on the skin. Of course, it still absorbs beautifully. I believe it's only a couple dollars extra. It ranges between $20 to $22, depending on where you find it. Look in your local Asian market for it, or look on Amazon, of course, through a trusted retailer. Really like that one. I use it on the daily, either morning or night. It's not offensive. It doesn't interfere. Very light scent. It's almost not fragrance, so it might just actually be the product that you're smelling. And I think it's just a great product that you throw into your skincare routine if you need a little extra boost of hyaluronic acid or a little extra boost of hydration plumpness. The next one I have is another first treatment essence type product. This is the Costarex Galactomyces 95 Whitening Power Essence. So this is a it's a little thicker than a typical uh, first treatment essence. I would say it's comparable in thickness to the Iope one. So here's what this looks like. As you can see, it's a little thicker. It is kind of similar in thickness to the Snail Power Mucin. It has that similar slippery, slippery consistency. It does absorb really, really nicely. And of course, it is made up of 95% of that Galactomyces ferment. So it's supposed to be ferment, or... Um, brightening for the skin, renewing, it helps cellular turnover, and the big thing about first treatment essences is they are supposed to help with the transparency or translucency of your skin. So they're supposed to help make that dead layer of skin on top of your face. It's supposed to A, help to get rid of it, to cycle it over, but it's also meant to make that dead layer less opaque. If you'll know, like, older people's skin tends to be very dull and more just, like, flat looking, where younger people have more youthful, radiant skin. Generally, that's going to be because the older skin is going to have, of course, less cellular turnover, but it's also going to have a very opaque layer of dead skin cells, which means that radiance or anything underneath is really not going to show through. So that's why I'm really a freak about my first treatment essences. I think that they, a good one can make a huge difference in your life, and a bad one is just going to really not do anything for you. I don't think there is a bad first treatment essence. I just think that there's more beneficial ones and less beneficial ones, if that makes any sense. Next, we have, well, let's just do another Costarex product. I have a lot of Costarex products. I like their stuff. This one, I don't really use that much. Well, okay. So these two, I don't really use that much because I have kind of a hard time figuring out where I want to use them in my skinny hair routine. It's not like that they're that, that difficult to use. I just have a lot of products that I use specifically. So incorporating these ones can be a little bit weird for me, but I think I need to start using them again. The first one is the AHA7 Whitehead Power Liquid. So this is, of course, a alpha hydroxy acid essence. So it's a, a, a chemical exfoliating treatment. And this one is the Blackhead Power Liquid. This is going to be, of course, a Blackhead Essence type of product. They're both quite watery, so you could use them as 
you could use them directly after your toner, so you could kind of treat them like an exfoliating toner. Just put them on. I would let let your skin be sort of semi-dry, put them on, let them sit on your skin, do their work, and then do the next thing. Depending on what your needs are is going to dictate which one you use. So of course you could do like the BHA one on your nose or just your T-zone area where you have more clogged pores or bigger pores. And you could do the AHA all over your face for general exfoliation. Or you could just do one or the other all over your face depending on what you need or what you find would be more beneficial to your skin. They're both really good products. Like I said, I just kind of forget about them and then I'm not really sure how to incorporate them or where I want to incorporate them. But I do like them, so I'm going to start using these again. And of course they're very cost effective because they're Costarex products. They really don't have expensive products, which is really, really nice. Next we have this little guy that I have never seen people really talk about. And this is the Laneige Clear C Advanced Effector EX 92.5% Superberry Extract. So this is supposed to be like a, kind of like a vitamin C essence without being made with like L-ascorbic acid or tetraisopalmitate or ascorbyl, ascorbyl, any of the blah 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 ones. It doesn't have any of those like actual vitamin C products. This is actually made with 92.5% extract of this super berry. It's a acerola cherry is the berry that they use. So it uses this acerola cherry extract to brighten and sort of refresh and radiate your skin or help with radiance and luminosity. So this is a nice product. This is one that I put to the back of my shelf again, totally forgot about, and I've actually just been using it for the last week or so. I find that I like to use it after my vitamin C, actual vitamin C product, just as a little bit of a booster, especially because I have that SkinCeuticals one that I'm not super high on right now. I like to use this to sort of, I put my vitamin C on, let it sit for five to 20 minutes, depending on how much time I have, and then I'll go in with this, wet it, put it all over my face, and I just find that it helps to massage the rest of the vitamin C residue into my skin, and then it adds that little bit of extra brightness and nutrients to my skin before going into my next products. This is quite, really quite watery. You can find it at Target. It's about $28, I'd say, and it's supposed to last you 30 days if you go by their little tick marks, but obviously it'll last as long as you want it to last. Next we have the... Ayope Bio Essence Intensive Conditioning First Treatment Essence. This is one of those ones that's supposed to be like the classic OG. People really love this one. So you'll see people either talk about the SK2 or the Hera or the Ayope one. So I have gone through all of those ones. I'm working through the Ayope one. I can tell you right now I don't really like it, but it, uh, some people do. So it is what it is. It's a nice product. It's hydrating. It has a little bit of a thicker, more like gelatinous consistency, so it has a nice cushion. But as far as the first treatment essence effect that I'm looking for, I don't really get it from that. So, that's okay. I won't repurchase it. The next one that I have is from Innisfree, and this is the Soybean Energy Essence with Fermented Bean Extract. So this is just going to be like a typical essence. It's going to be hydrating. It's supposed to provide a nice firming... Uh, effect to your skin, and it also has fermented ingredient, which I really like because ferments are just really good for your skin. It's good to promote the good bacteria on your skin, it helps with cellular turnover, helps with aging, and helps with general just health on your skin. It's like taking a probiotic. So this is really, really nice. Doesn't have the scent, it's a little bit, it's kind of like a medium thickness. So it's somewhere between like the snail essence and the, uh, it's actually very similar to the hot lava essence, so it's quite thin. And the very, very last one that I have, this is a real favorite of mine. I've had it since I started with Korean skincare. This is the Costarex Advanced Snail 96 Power, Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. Extremely long name, but an extremely great product. This is literally 96% snail essence. I love snail products. I love this product. It goes quite a long way, so you don't need a whole lot. I use about four pumps. Massage it all over my face and neck. It's supposed to be great for brightening great for wrinkle care, great for plumping the skin, and snail usually works really, really well for everybody. There's not really many people who are sensitive to snail products. And it just does a little bit of everything. So, also, let me know if you guys want to see more Korean products. There are a couple brands that I want to try, but really, in my channel, I've been incorporating, like, Korean products, medical grade products, green products. I'm trying to just really have some diversity and pick a little bit from everywhere, because I feel that 
While I'm really devoted and my heart belongs with Korean skincare, I want to pick from the best things from every group. So let me know what you guys want to see as far as different skincare from different countries, different brands, if you want to see more Korean skincare. I'm really looking into the Swanee Coco line. I think that's a really extraordinary line that I like to start using. But uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys want to see. I want to make things that videos that you guys want to see, and I want to talk about products that you guys are interested in. So just let me know. That is all of my essences. It's a fairly small collection at this point, but there's some really good products in there. So thank you for watching, of course. Don't forget to smack the subscribe button and stay tuned on my channel to stay up to date with everything that I'm doing. And don't forget to find me on all my socials, Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. I love connecting with you guys on all those platforms. So I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye, guys.